Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces, August 28, 2022. With your ruler, Venus, aligning with Uranus today, you're turning your attention to areas of life that could use some change, updates, and a more progressive approach. The sudden urge to push boundaries can figure strongly now. Intimate relationships or feelings are likely to heat up suddenly, or this is a time when you awaken to feelings you've buried or denied. You may need to pull yourself out of your comfort zone just a little to get what you want or deserve, but the results can be fantastic. Whether these involve people, objects, or situations, sudden or unconventional whims, desires, and attractions can take hold today. It's a time for being bold about taking care of yourself and your needs, but it may be best to save the more significant decisions for a time when you've processed your feelings. Things are spicing up in your love life, and that's an understatement. For instance, whether you're single, crushing, or already romantically involved, it's not every day your luscious planetary ruler, Venus, collides with spontaneous Uranus, not to mention by your intimate eighth house of sex, mergers, shared resources, and soulmate connections. If you're already committed, this could definitely shake things up, and in an unexpected way. Granted, you could always opt for indulging in your unconventional delights, as long as your cutie pie's on board, of course. Others of you could discover a new fantasy or sexy fetish, in the most unpredictable way. Financial twists and turns could come out today as Venus conjuncts Uranus in Taurus. With these two planetary energies blending, you may not feel as secure in your investments, resources, or even debt. But this is not a bad thing. The conjunction could allude to a sudden inheritance of money or property. It may also refer to an investment finally paying off. Some of your debt could go in an unexpected direction, like paying off the last bit of it or even accepting new debt as part of a financial decision. That the moon is not only spending the sun's last full day in your work sector in your income sector but at a friendly aspect is a win slash win for income and money matters. This first visit since Pluto's retrograde turn puts the moon, income matters, and the untapped potential you now have better access to in harmony with the sun's focus on where you are going on the job front. Your family doesn't seem to be supporting you as much as usual. Instead, they are critical now and then. Don't go on the offensive, but listen carefully to what they are saying. Who knows, their objections may be justified. It's better to discuss this with friends, as they see matters more objectively. You need to be patient with that one prospect. If they're slow making up their mind, that also means they'll stick with you if they decide you're the right one. Let things slide for a little while. Being tested, you seek proof as to whether the decisions you made regarding your love life are correct. It's possible others make you aware of having made a mistake. This is a good time to reevaluate your situation. Remain calm, be optimistic about the future and let events unfold, better times are on the way. The transit of the day makes you notice your successes more than your failures, and that's a great thing. Revel in all the things you do well that don't necessarily get noticed or praised by other people. You can affect your self-esteem just by letting in a bit of praise from your own internal voice. Congratulate yourself for getting in some yoga, for making a healthy meal, for communicating honestly with a friend. These are the things that create a healthy life. Today is the day to get new and innovative things happening. Yours is a compassionate life path personality and this isn't always easy for you. It brings a greater responsibility when it comes to helping others. However, by allowing your natural creativity to flow freely, you can't help but introduce better ways of doing things. With the day's vibration happening, you are encouraged to start something new. Go for it. Don't let shyness or a fear of rejection or failure hold you back. Our eyes in the sky. A couple of potent lunar interactions ensure that your day has its share of emotional intensity. A morning Leo moon Uranus square makes it hard to focus, so a lot of little chores might not get checked off your to-do list as you struggle to stay on task. If you have anything to do that requires your full attention, 
It's best left until later in the day if at all possible. Later, a Moon-Saturn conjunction in innovative Leo pushes you to find unique solutions to everyday problems. You're totally willing to work hard to get what you want, but working smarter is a far better way to get the job done. Networking is especially productive now because you might find someone nearby, an older neighbor, perhaps, who has the tools you need to solve your problem efficiently and effectively. You're eager to turn any occasion into a social one now, but wait until after the work is finished to start the party. Romance is in the air as the day comes to a close, and you'll want to use this energy to open up to and connect with someone special. Just remember to take things a bit easy. Don't put too much pressure on your relationships right now, especially regarding the future. In the pre-dawn hours, the Leo moon sextiles Chiron in Aries, helping to free us from limiting beliefs. Our knack for reframing insecurities as strengths is not only healing on a personal level, it likewise inspires our peers to dismantle the lies they tell themselves concerning their inability to overcome the odds. At this time, we recognize how our role in our community is a symbiotic one. Taking cues from another's struggles helps us to embrace our shared humanity over perceived differences. Our quirks are rebranded as distinctive badges of honor. In the morning, the moon squares Uranus in Taurus, provoking unusual behavior. Yes, today we are embracing our uniqueness, but this aspect prompts us to take matters too far, acting in the name of rebellion. There are ways to push the envelope appropriately, yet we now feel like we must prove something, and the only way to do that is to upset the status quo. Rather than making a show of our opinions or ideas, we can accomplish this more subtly by allowing our minds to be changed by new information, revolution starts within. Bearing witness empowers us to transform our circumstances. The knowledge we gain about our own psychological workings makes us less susceptible to victimization. Once Pluto again goes direct, it will be our responsibility to use the self-awareness exhumed to change the world for the better, not to play a part in upholding the supremacy of toxic institutions, enterprises, and empires.